I got this question from a founder the other day on X. And he said, I got a question for you, which is how to go beyond your fears. So this is a mindset question. And I, I replied to him that I'll make a video about this. So this is for him. You know, the biggest fallacy that we all have, and even I had you know, early on in my career, is thinking that once you reach a certain stage of success in your career, you won't have these fears and doubts anymore. And I feel like by all measures compared to 10 years ago, even five years ago, I feel like I'm at the peak of my career compared to my own past. And the myth that busted, um, that got busted is the fact that it, the fears and doubts don't go away. You know, I fear about other things now. And if I worry about other, I, I question and feel self-doubt about other things now. But they're still there, you know. The, the experience, the the visceral feeling in the body is still there, and I think the this is something I wish I told my younger self that it's okay, it's very normal to feel that fear. What do you do with that fear, and and that doubt is all that matters, you know, because we're all human and we will feel these inevitably because you're challenging yourself, you're trying something new, you're pushing your limits. So of course you're gonna feel this, you know. But what do you do? with the fear that you feel, with the doubt that you feel. Here's an exercise that I tried recently. It's, um, hopefully you can see this, but it's basically a list of my limiting beliefs. You know, I did this exercise like four days ago, I think five days ago in my journal. And so anytime I feel a heavy dose of fear or anxiety or limiting beliefs, I make a list of them. And the one that uh, right now I'll read out one, one portion of it, uh, which is, it says, I can't do sales this time for my next cohort because I'm running this cohort program called the Lynn Public Fellowship because I just feel like I've done so many of them. If people really believed in it, they should have joined by now. I can't do sales. I just don't feel like it. So that was the fear. There's some version of that. And what I did was basically I had to strike it off and write the opposing belief right under it. And the opposing belief obviously is I can and I shall one step at a time. So, I mean, there's a list of other fears that I have and it's basically the same exercise. And then I do something called visualization where um, I visualize living in the end state of whatever fear that I just had. And what if, what if I overcame that fear and went through the actions and got to the end state, stop and think about the, vis the, the, the visceral feeling of that end state, how would it feel like, you know? And that's the exercise that I do. And the funny thing is, like, I thought this was not needed after a while. And by all measures, like I said, I have so many skills, gifts, talents, network, all that. And yet, you know, there's always this, you know, voice in our head that gets in the way. And the, the only meta learning that I have for you is know that even your icons, even your, you know, role models all have this. I've personally verified this because I spoke to a lot of people you know, on my podcast who are very, very successful, 100 steps ahead of me. And they've all personally verified that they do have fears and struggles and especially uh, doubts. And, and it's just that they are not stopped by them. They don't limit themselves by the fears and doubts. And they take one small step in the right direction and momentum builds. And then suddenly within four or five days, you forgot the fact that you even had this crippling fear. So that's my advice. Hope it resonates. And hope it makes you realize that it's all about taking one step, right? One small action and then making progress and building from there. All right. Thank you for listening.